If you've listened to Yeet, then you've definitely heard this song. That is Rockstar by Yee off of his album Up To Me, and it is easily one of the best produced songs on that album. And the reason for that is because it was produced by Starboy Rob. Starboy Rob is an amazingly talented producer from Memphis, Tennessee, who has worked with artists like Yee, Midwest, Some Success, SGP West, and So Smula. They are my favorite producer and have been for a long time, and I'm going to show you how you can make a Starboy Rob type beat. And the beat that we're going to be going over sounds a little something like this. Before I get into the beat, you know we had to go with the purple theme with the purple rain shirt, just to get into the Starboy Rob theme. And the first thing that I threw down is this custom pluck that I made in Serum. All it is is a basic sine wave pluck with some LFO modulation on the master tuning. You'll hear this pluck in a lot of like can can type beats, and once you hear it, you'll recognize it immediately. The scale I'm working in is D sharp minor natural. And I just have a chord progression going from the one to the five to the six to the one to the five, to the six, to the seven. And all I did was created those chords and built a nice little melody out of it. So this is what our first melody sounds like. The next thing that is absolutely essential for these beats is an arpeggio of some sort. I love using Electra X for the ARPs. They have a lot of creative presets in there. And the preset that I'm using is the In The Machine preset from the ARP multi-layer section. Now this ARP is a little bit goofy and out there, but I feel like it kind of works for this beat. And I just have it playing the original chords that we constructed. After that, I threw down a super standard lead in Serum, though I have the portamento relatively high to give the lead that gliding sound and create some motion. And for this lead, I am using half step intervals to create it, meaning I'm using notes that are one note away from each other in the scale being the A and the A sharp. So this is what our lead sounds like. And then the final part of the melody that I threw down is that iconic bell. Production nowadays is kind of straying away from the bell as it's become a little bit cliche, but to stay true to the style, I decided to throw it in. And to give it some more depth, I just doubled it in the octaves. So with everything all together, this is what the melody sounds like. All right, so now let's get into the drums. The most important aspect of these kind of beats are the 808s. Not only do you want to have good sounding 808s, but you want to have multiple 808s. So the first one that I threw down is this classic Chase the Money 808. You're also going to want to play around with octaves and slide notes. Yet again, this is another production tactic to create some motion in your beat. Because if I get rid of the octave notes and the slides, it just sounds super boring and repetitive. The next 808 that I threw down is the Lab 808 from the Starboy Rob Stash Kit. That kit has been one of my go-tos for a while. It has a bunch of creative and unique sounds for making new age beats, and this 808 is one of them. And the last 808 that I threw down is from the Starboy Rob and Gokami Drum Kit, and it's playing this super signature slide pattern. The way you can achieve that is by making your bass notes for the slides at zero velocity and then create super short slide notes a couple octaves higher and then make the velocity go down like a stair set. Next I just threw down a bunch of standard sounds like this clap, this snare, this open hat, and this perk hi hat that is a staple in this genre. And the final thing that I threw down is this hi hat. The midi for this hi hat is from the Starboy Rob Stash Kit and this is what it sounds like. So this is what the drums sound like all together. And boom, that is gonna pretty much cover how to make a Starboy Rob type beat. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. I heavily, heavily recommend checking out Starboy Rob. They are an amazingly talented producer. Go check out their kits, go check out their beats. And if you have any questions, please feel free to throw them in the comments down below. Also consider subscribing as I post two tutorials every single week, one long one and one short one. 
Other than that, that's going to be it. Peace.